Okay, now that we've fully designed our gallium arsenide solar cell, we should probably save it. Save as gallium arsenide solar cell. Yeah, we'll replace that. Okay, so previously now, we designed our cell and we got the IV curve of it. Now, another common thing to look for for a PV cell is its quantum efficiency. So, Luckily, PC1D comes with a, a custom excitation file that allows you to do uh, a spectral sweep. You can design it yourself, but to be honest, it's easier to look at the file, see how it works, and then you can change it to your um, to your own liking. So if you want to sweep to your own wavelength range, that's fine, but it's actually easier to start by opening up your excitation. So what is so our scan QE which presumably is scan quantum efficiency we want to open that up now so it's transient not steady state the wavelength is changing so we want 90 time steps fairly arbitrary whatever you want uh, 90 sounds good to me so we're we're putting no voltage across our uh, our base or our collector circuit um, you can if you want. I'm just going to leave it the way it is now at zero. Now, um, and so we'll check our intensity. That's too low for me, really. Um, 0 0.001 watts per centimeter cubed or squared, sorry, is um, I want 0 0.01 or sorry, point 0.1 which is roughly the intensity of uh, sunlight landing on the earth um, so yeah I'll change them to point 0.1 and our spectrum you can see we're no longer using the AM 1.5G file, we're doing a monochrome wavelength sweep so we're going from 300 to 1200 nanometers which is suitable for gallium arsenide gallium arsenide has a, a band gap at about 850 nanometers so we should get uh, the entire uh, quantum efficiency of the gallium arsenide cell uh, now notice one thing when I press OK here the excitation from scan QE will say modified from scan QE okay see where it is now say I want to I don't want to have to change it to point 0.1 watts per centimeter squared each time so I just want to have that so I can go up to excitation I go save as and I can say quantum efficiency 1 watt something like that whatever you want to call it save so now it will always I can always access this excitation file quickly which is a handy feature so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it and we'll see what happens so we'll have a look okay this is actually a probably a good time to demonstrate some of the limitations of PC1D. So transient convergence failure. I've dealt with this error a lot and to be honest it's fairly arbitrary when it comes up. Uh, so if I run it again you can see it gets to about 870 nanometers after the band gap and you can see down here it's trying to run it and it will eventually produce the error transient convergence failure which is a bit annoying really but you can see anyway that our gallium arsenide cell reaches a quantum efficiency of about 95 percent which is pretty good shame about this error but you'll learn to deal with them there um there's not much you can do about them really sometimes reducing the 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 number of steps helps 
sometimes it doesn't it's um one of the one of the most tedious aspects of pc one d the fact that it can decide not to run properly for you and I found just changing random parameters and then it will work it doesn't really let you know why it's not working and you can see it's still failing even with 16 time steps around the same spot um, so yeah it's probably good that I demonstrate this D because it will probably happen to you a lot so we'll try changing the um, the intensity see if that helps at all I'd imagine it won't and I'll change this to 100 the number of time steps yeah and it is failing once again right at the same spot So a bit annoying, all right. You can't really do much about it. Just hope that it works, which isn't fun. I I wish I had a better explanation for why this happens, but I've yet to find anything, and I've read through the help manual plenty of times, and still nothing. So that's how you run the quantum efficiency anyway we'll try it with a different uh, Gallimaris night cell I have and see if I have the same problem so here you can just see it's a bit more detailed and uh, I've added front interior exterior reflectance I've added internal conductance a base contact this kind of stuff I've added front surface and rear surface recombination for as many layers as I can find so um it's a bit more complex than the other gallium arsenide cell I'm just after making but um it's all the same idea. So we'll see what happens now when I run it. So ninety time steps. I've used the same scan quantum efficiency file and you can see now it is ran perfectly without a hitch. It has gone over eight hundred and seventy nanometers. So it is a bit annoying that it'll just decide not to work but it's free I suppose so can't expect too much from it